Hi friends, we are Phil and Alex, and last week we moved our full-time home closer to Orange County to be closer to our doctor. We got the go-ahead to start progesterone injections to get ready for our IVF frozen embryo transfer in just a few short days. Today I'll give you my favorite progesterone injection tips and tricks, but I also have to get going this morning to an appointment. We changed our IVF protocol and added a whole new treatment. Hopefully today will help lead us to two pink lines in just a few short weeks. Mama, can you put this in my water so bad? What is what, sweetie? What is it? I don't know. It looks like a dirty sticker. Go put that in the trash. Mom, what are you doing? I am getting some Can medicine. Thank you, sweetie. Mom, can we wash you? You can wash. Okay. What are you going to do? I am going to give myself some medicine. Why? Um, once we see if it works, then I will tell you what all of this was for. Mommy, you just want to stay right here next to you because I love you. I love you too so much. Do you know that? How much do how does much does mommy and daddy love mommy, you? Mommy, why are you doing a shot? Because it's my medicine. Why do you have a poker thing to poke you? Daddy's really good at it and he's gonna do it really fast. Is daddy gonna do your medicine? Daddy's gonna do the medicine right now because we have to leave. Hey, Philip. Injection time. Hi. Injection. Hi. Armpit. Hi. Warm it up. Mama, I'm going to do boots. You're going to be hot in boots. It's being cool today. Go, go, go. Okay, come on, Philip, please. Please look. Does it hurt, Mama? That was a good one from Daddy. It is good to go. Let's go. I can't believe you just did our first injection. I know. Let's go. <laughs> that just got real. You want to meet me in there? I'm gonna go with you. We are going in and we have never done this before. We are doing intralipids this time for our transfer. So, I don't know, let's go see what it's like. Hello everybody, we made it to the park. Alex is at her appointment right now. We found a park that was about a mile and a half away, and it's really amazing, actually. Whoa. I'm going faster! Do you wanna go down the ship? Do you wanna come on the ship with me? I would love to come on the ship with you. Could you go catch all the fish? Can I go catch all the fish? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if Callie, Callie, do you wanna come catch fish? Okay, we're gonna get the fish. Hold your hands real big. One. Two fishies. Okay, go take them to Captain Kinsley. Okay, she got four fish for you. What are you gonna do with them? Oh, they're in the refrigerator? You trying to climb all the way up? Get my hand. You are so big. You didn't even need my help. No, because, because I'm going to school. You're going to school, so you're so big? Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. Oh, there you are. Where's... Oh, it's okay. It takes one minute to get there. I'm here at the park watching the girls have an absolute blast. And I can't help but think that that little Cali bug, like she's gonna be three, and it just kind of feels like life is happening so fast. 
There's moments where life is slow and then there's moments where life is just like so fast. How crazy it's gonna be with IVF, with Callie's birthday, with traveling out of California. And I'm just like, I'm excited. I'm not nervous, but I'm just like, I'm trying to do whatever I can to prepare myself to slow down and have moments at the park with my kids. I don't know, if you guys are there, you're loved, you're not alone. It Sometimes you feel like you're prepared and then sometimes you feel like you're so far behind you can't even catch up. And I think everybody feels that. Satan's ultimate goal in life is to make you feel you have no power, you have no purpose and passion. You find your purpose in like what God has called you and who God says you are as, a, as a, his child. And it says like, I want you to be in this and I'm rooting for you and I'm with you. And I have this incredible life and I've given you my power, I've given you my purpose and I've given you my passion to love on others and to do the best that you can with what you have for, him. for me, Jesus, today. I feel like sometimes we lose that. Maybe even you're in a great place, but you're not focusing on the things that really do matter. I don't know if that speaks to you or encourages you today, but um, we're just working on slowing down, um, but also being ahead and prepared for what's to come because in the next week, it's gonna be crazy. The most important thing to me right now is that we love and care for Callie and her birthday. How old are you gonna be? Mm, at my birthday? Yeah. Do you know how old you're gonna be? Mm -mm. You're gonna be three. You ready to see the duckies? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna read the books to the duckies? Mm -hmm. All right, you sit down and read the books to the duckies, okay. but don't sit on that poop right there. Sit right here. Where's the poop? Where's the poop's right there. That's geese poop. Oh, whoa, look at that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that, you. Spit it out. Spit it out. Say, don't eat it, silly goose. They, they're just, oh, watch out. Hey, hey, listen, I am daddy, and you come near my kids, and you get a wallop from Pooh Bear. Christopher Robin's gonna get you if you don't back up. Yeah, my daddy's gonna protect me. <laughs> protect you? Okay, back up. <laughs> you know what? It's almost time to go get mommy, so we need to go, but Callie's gonna read a short book. Everybody, we're in their house, but no one Keep going, Callie. Keep breathing. You're doing great. Are you all done? Yeah. Callie, you did so good reading them the Christopher Robin book. Say, Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh Bear. Did you appreciate that story, Mr. Goose? Well, it is nine o'clock. My bed is full of a load of laundry I do not want to put away. It is time for injections and my kids are still awake talking. I don't want the music one kid wants the heart music playing, the other one doesn't want it. It's nine o'clock girls, go to sleep. There's no more music playing, Callie. Good night. Can I show you something? Thank you. I can't get over this. Some nights they zonk out, other nights they are just not going to bed. That's a bummer.
All right, hi friends, all you friends that are new, welcome. We have shared our infertility journey for a long time, but I am excited for you to jump on the train now because hopefully <laughs> it will be a lot better outcome and just a lot more exciting when we can have a pregnancy and keep a pregnancy. We did IVF again. This is not our first rodeo and we did genetic testing this time and so we are going into this transfer with a genetically normal genetically typical embryo can't quite believe it that we are already here uh, but i haven't thought about it which is helped me keep extremely low amount of stress i am not worried not stressed i'm worried of it not working i'm not gonna lie about that but i am hopeful that this is our time and I don't really care how it's gonna happen but we are ready to grow our family with a couple hands and a couple feet so this is progesterone injections this is um, two different hormones I take throughout the cycle estrogen build up estrogen through pills and patches and then the injections start with progesterone um, some people do suppositories that is for a more supporting your body through a cycle um the injections are there the medication is scheduled exactly and the medication is doing the cycle for you if that makes any sense booty injections but it's not in your bunzos it is sorry that's our family word so that's what we call our butt our bunzos um it is in your love handle so it's up nice and high i feel like i've given so many tips and tricks but for you guys that are new um, if you haven't done IVF, awesome. If you have or are looking to do it at some point, um, progesterone and oil on your armpit, get it nice and warm, that helps. Um, I don't ice, it doesn't really bother me. You can ice, I don't, I don't. My tip is have an awesome husband that gives you good injections, but expect that some of them don't feel super great, but for the most part, he does awesome. So thank you. So if you're new, new, we sold everything and this is our humble abode. This is our RV. And after the transfer, we are literally hitting the road and leaving, leaving California. Like our first ultrasound won't even be here. Um, we have been postponing, um, leaving, uh, fixing up the RV took a little longer than we thought. Um, but we are now ready to hit the road. Um, so just, it's a matter of bringing little baby along with us and then coming to meet you guys giving away more of our grants doing more conferences talking with you guys meetups all that fun shenanigans that we have in store hitting the road is twofold one we are taking our nonprofit on the road all of our friends that have gone through infertility or have gone through adoption are all across the country and so we're going to go meet up with our friends talk with them interview them bring you guys education try to figure out what we can do in this community what we can do to support and help you can go to lovemultiplies.org you can get our t-shirts you can support our nonprofit we do not take a penny from the nonprofit it all goes towards grants and towards administration fees but our twofold our second reason of why we are super excited to be in the RV this year and explore the country is where are we gonna end up where are we gonna live oh my bra's been hanging out that whole time awesome awesome we are going to be hopefully adding another little one we're gonna have to buckle down and deliver to hospital we probably will get back in the RV right after that I think we'll see but we need a home base and so we're just open and ready to explore and ready for your opinions your advice of where we should go where we should look of where we should have home base and go out from there if you guys aren't already following us over on our Instagram I share over on our Instagram where we're going and I am excited to eventually get your feedback of where we should go once we hit the road, once we're on our adventure, and once we need, do we go this way? And do we go this way? Okay, I used to sing with each injection. I think you have to go back to our first or second transfer playlist. Also could... start suggesting songs at Twitter. I can sing, but I don't need to distract myself like I used to. I stand on my opposite leg Whoa. and don't put any weight on the leg that's getting shot. And I just kind of go off into my own world. So I put my hand on my hip, grab it, and then I swivel 
and that's where the injection goes. So it's really up on your hip on your left handle. For those of you who ever have to do an injection here and here, that's where it goes. I know you will find your way from all of this. I know there's a brighter day for you. Why are you stressing? Why? I can promise you you'll find your way in time. To find you someone is a blessing. It's not as bad as it's running. The love you find you won't be able to deny. That's great. And then... Two down. How many need to go? A lot? Hopefully a lot. Hopefully a time. Tomorrow we meet with our embryologist. Learn from her, learn about our embryos. So if you don't want to miss about our embryos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come back tomorrow. And thank you guys so much for liking today's video. It helps us be able to make more videos for you guys. And we are so excited to go on this journey with you, especially in the RV. I know a lot of you are excited about baby, but I'm excited about baby but in the RV how awesome how fun how crazy is this year gonna be and we've got some craziness up our sleeves and we are excited how this year is gonna turn out so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys in our next video go let your love multiply.